All right, here we go. First things first, we need to grab 40 coins here in our hometown so we can purchase uh, the ability to break through magic barriers while using a little bit of magic of our own. You might be, oh, you might be thinking, well, can't you just skip that and get through the wall, the door some other way? And you can, but um, we're going to need to use this. I'll grab a little bit of magic right there. We're going to need to use this ability multiple times in the run, so it is faster to just do this coin grab. And it's a nice little warm-up, little start to the run, get your movement warmed up. I'm going to grab pretty much all these coins, although there is a little bit of room for error. Oh, got 40. And then when you jump down here, mash... Oop! Fuck that up. Just want to mash left on the D-pad. So you can grab that power. And now we are off to the Great Deku Tree. Little skip here, not necessary to do, but let's save time if you can get it quickly. Nice. And then here we have the first clip of the game. We'll just come up to this wall here, kind of next to this box. Come up to the wall, side flip into the wall, hold left, use your shadow as an indicator when to dive. Um, because there's really bad falling damage in this game. Um, you're supposed to get a power later on to negate it. So you're going to have to do things like diving right before you hit the ground to avoid taking damage. Now we got the Vanishing Cap. Um, which brings me to controls. So I think K's must be like left-handed or something, because I always have to switch the controls, usually always having to switch um, left and right D-pad, which is bomb storage. But also for this game, I switch down, down, or sorry, left and right, <laughs> left and right bumper, uh, you want to switch, if you're right-handed at least. And then also switching down on the D-pad with down C, because down on the D-pad is how to use our vanishing cap like that, and so it's just a lot easier to switch it, so. That boss there, just long jump in him three times. Then do a soft reset, F1. That's what we're gonna do at the end of pretty much every temple. It's gonna bring us to the entrance. And now we're off to the, the Dongo Cave temple area. Um, as far as movement goes, there is faster ways to do all this, but I'm showing the, you know, the easier ways. Alright, we're gonna come up here, go into the Lost Woods or whatever, and then just go right, straight, straight. So, right. Go straight. I mean, it's right, it's right there. All right, now here we're gonna do a death warp. You can get it really fast by doing a kick. Oh, I got it there actually. Um, normally you can just mash A and you'll get stuck in like a T pose in the wall, and then you gotta wait five seconds. Right there though, when I was mashing A, I hit the trigger and got it really fast. This slope is really weird. Just mash A and B. Um, and don't even fuck with that platform there, because you can literally phase through it and go to a death trigger, like, super easy. 
and then grab this little triangle thing. Um, there's multiple different ways to skip this section and get into the temple, um, but I'm going to show you the way to do it without having to do a bomb clip or any bomb shenanigans. I think that makes it the most accessible. Because if you're struggling with the bomb stuff, there's already a lot you can't do, but at least you can still do this. All right, and I'm gonna save state here. So what we're trying to do is throw this little pyramid thing past the pink bomb dude. And as long as this thing is being thrown, as long as it's bouncing and you know moving, Mario will stay in this weird glitch state where we can pass through this invisible barrier and clip through the wall and get to the temple. Um, if we throw it directly at the pink bomb dude, It'll just go away and we won't have enough time. If we throw it too far over, it'll hit the wall and then we won't have enough time. So um, try to get it first try, but this is a pretty hard trick. Ah, uh, see, little too, uh, we're aiming for that. We're, we're aiming for this corner just in front of Mario um, where like the, the geometry meets where the walls meet. But as soon as this thing goes away, that invisible wall comes back, and that's how we get stuck. Ah, man, that was good, but the jump was off. And yeah, you can either throw it to the left or right of the bomb guy. That might be... Am I close enough to just get in there? Yep, there we go. So that was close enough where I could kind of just finagle my way in there. I'm going to show it again, though. Nice. So right there, that was like the ideal way to do it. And then yeah, you try to grab some of those coins to heal. And then make sure to save here. This might be dying over and over at this part. Um, coming up, we got the lava skip. Shit. Damage. Which I'd say is the first really hard trick of the game. Although once you get it down, it's a lot, it's a lot easier. Oh shit! I thought I had bomb storage for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna redo that. This part's pretty hard too. It's not even a skip. Come on! Yes. All right. Really important to not get hit here, and especially towards the end, we need to use one of these guys to perform another skip. So we can get to this section. So this last guy here is really important. And then just dive into this thing there. I did it wrong, but I still got through. I just took damage. Grab some health. You gotta be at full health. And here's the lava skip. So basically just you want to triple jump straight as if you're hitting this side of the wall, but just go past it. And try to hit it as high up as you can. Don't hold right yet. Make sure you get hit. Make sure you hear Mario start to scream and then hold right. A lot of times holding right too soon is why you won't get it. And then you'll bounce off and then try to get on the thing. So let's see if I can get this. Pretty close. Gosh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm, I'm not, not waiting long enough. Gotta hold straight, then hold right. There we go. Your instinct is you want to hold right sooner, but you got to hold straight just a little bit. Don't grab these coins. So that way we can just quickly die. Now we have bomb storage, the most broken ability of the game. God damn it. This part's really fucky. All right, I'm going to show you the alternative, though. You don't have to do the lava skip. There is an alternative. Um, although I would say it's harder but less riskier. Um, so I'm going to save state. I'll come up here, do a backflip, keep holding A, don't let go of A, and mash B in order to climb. Holding A, mashing B. 
We're gonna get on here. And then we're gonna triple jump and bounce off of this walkway here and then hold over, forward, whatever, backwards to then land on it. I haven't been able to do it, but I can probably get it close enough. Yeah, see, that's as far as I can get. I can't grab it afterwards, so. But if you do, then you don't have to do the lava, the lava skip, so. And then right here, in order to drop the bomb and uh, quickly kick it into objects, because sometimes if you throw it, it's just gonna bounce off and you won't blow up what you're trying to blow up. Um, so to do that, just drop the bomb, hold forward, drop the bomb, and then press A, B right after you drop it. Um, and then you'll just kick it out like that. Grab this guy, and then we're gonna do the first bomb clip of the run, although this one's totally free. Just gonna use this dude to push us in that corner and enter the boss fight. And this boss fight is pretty tricky because we gotta predict where these bombs are going. We might have to slide into them, we might have to jump into them. So far, this is actually going super well. Wow, perfect fight. That was just lucky because I didn't have to, like, like, you just, that was just good luck. Wow. All right, reset. F1, soft reset. Come back in. Um, you can do the Shadow Temple next, um, but this beginner's route, you know, since we're not doing any wrong warps or anything, we're doing the Fire Temple next. So we'll make sure you grab a bomb and definitely make sure to save here. Fuck. So yeah, don't dive off of high, high spots like that. You want to fall off of it. And then dive or ground pop right before you hit the ground. All right, gonna save state here because this part's really tricky. Make sure you long jump before you hit, you walk on that wood. Uh, and if you do it too short like this, you just gotta mash A and hope you get lucky. <laughs> All right, let's show the better way to do it. There we go. All right, in this part right here. Just first off, dodge that dude. The way I like to line Mario up is like get his right foot on this line right here on the brick in the ground. And I'm gonna jump back and then I'm gonna do a kick to kind of push myself forward under this geometry, these bricks here. Um, I'm gonna bounce on the lava and then aim for the corner of the lava and hopefully break out of bounds there. Um, you can do it in two bounces, but that's definitely not ideal because then going into the going into this boss fight You can't get hit at all um, So definitely ideal to get it in one bounce. So I'm gonna jump down here kick And Do it like that. That was perfect. All right, and then with these stairs you can just long jump into them hold Z and mash a Same thing with like here, like you just hold Z and mash shade. I didn't know that before with the long jumps. Uh, and then this part is another bomb clip, but it's totally free because we're going to use this corner here. Just clip through. And then this boss is super fucking... Because he does shit like that! That's why you That's why you need to be able to get hit. Like That's why you can't afford to come in here with low health because this guy will just totally fuck you over like that. Um, so yeah, this boss is a bit of a nightmare. 
Pretty fast fight, but yeah, you can lose a lot of time, and you can just totally screw you over. Alright, soft reset. Come back in. Here we just want to die. You can go up top and jump into the lava, or you can do this. I think that's faster. Alright, so grab another bomb, save, and then get ready because this is where the run gets real. Um, this is definitely the hardest part of the run coming up next. Make sure you jump far enough there so you don't take damage. So this is the first part in the run where we have to do bomb clips. And not only that, but the first like legit bomb clip that we have to do is frame perfect. Um, it's the only frame perfect one in the run. So it's the hardest bomb clip in the run and it's also the first. So this is definitely, you know, the biggest like uh sorry um okay this part right here the faster but harder way to do it is to triple jump off this rock into a dive kind of like that and then vanish i'm gonna try it again but if not i'll just do it the easy way nope and then uh, the easier way is to just Side flip off of here and hold back. Grab some magic. Um, for this part here, I'm going to triple jump, hold A, and mash B. That's going to be how you climb a lot of these weird surfaces. And then, oh god. And then with here, just be really careful not to bonk off of this edge or jump too far and take falling damage all right definitely gonna save state here really important to not to not die at this long jump all right so first bomb clip here is pretty free just run into there use the corner keep running um he'll get stuck on the on the wall but keep running and he'll pop through so you can grab him again Here's the really hard trick. This is the frame perfect one. This is the hardest hardest trick in the game and the big sort of obstacle when it comes to doing this run. The first part that's important to this is that no matter how you do this clip, you need to place the bomb right next to this wall. Um, and that's because then we can come back and lure the bomb to come through and we can take the bomb and use it for other, for more clips. So that's really important. If you don't do that, it's kind of pointless um, so yeah I, I uh, hit the wall just to space myself out but you do a short hop and then do another hop not a long hop not a short hop but just just long enough to cook the bomb and then turn around and grab it so you short hop hold a and B for a little bit do a little medium hop turn around grab the bomb and then you'll start sliding backwards and uh, that alone can push us through geometry, but usually it's the throw. Once you slide backwards into something and then throw it, then you'll pop through. Um, especially with this trick too, you want to make sure that you're ev completely even, like perpendicular with the wall. So you might have to adjust a little bit as well. So. Okay. I knew that wasn't going to work. Um, the bomb wasn't big enough. So you really got to cook the bomb big enough, you know, have it flying in the air long enough because um, it's frame perfect. So we need the maximum speed. We need to catch the bomb where it's about just, just the frame. We need to catch it, the frame right before it's going to explode. This might be big enough. 
I felt like that was fast enough, but I wasn't... My angle was off. Alright, that's not fast enough, I can tell. That's not fast enough. That might be it. Yeah! Alright, so that's the way that I find it most consistent. Um, let me, here, let me grab the bomb. So yeah, you gotta, uh, walk down so the bomb respawns. Make sure to not freaking walk across there. And then, again, you gotta go down far enough so you can clip through, grab the bomb, and then we're off to the other two clips. Um, the safe state there, and then come back. The other way to do it, the other setup to do it, is you can come up to the wall here, hit the wall, place the bomb, and then right after grab it. Don't don't press R and B or L and B at the exact same time, but place it and then right after grab it. So the bomb will push you back a little bit and that'll space you up perfectly so that way you can just throw it and catch it as long as you're ev even with the wall. If you're not, you'll have to turn to the right or left to grab it. So like that. That actually looks like it might be fast enough. Oh man, that looked like it might have been fast enough, but I didn't get the angle. Um, but yeah, that's the other way to do it. Seems like every runner has their own technique. Some people like to kick it against the wall and grab it. That's my least favorite. But, you know, so you can do that. You can throw it against the wall the way that I like to do it you know the way I, that I showed so um, so the next two clips this clip for one you don't have to do it you can just go straight ahead and fight that dude um, but it is riskier because you might lose health which you don't really want to lose so I'd say just do the clip but these next two clips are a lot easier because we can use the corner here to clip through so you want to go at it at an angle in the corner and that makes it a lot easier Alright, so we got the magic hover boots, so now we can hold A to ex- or not magic hover, but long jump uh, boots. We can hold A to extend our long jumps by using some magic. Alright, use your shadow. It's an indicator. When to dive, so you don't take damage. And then right here, just long jump right next to this thing and fall down. And, and we'll hit a loading zone from the outside. So just like that. Alright, and then with this boss we can cheese, just sit here like that. Um, you're a little too t high up, you'll still get hit, so just make sure you're, you know, just off of the, the apex there, the skull, and just crouch down and up the fight. So yeah, nice end of Shadow Temple that there's not like a tricky fight or anything to it, but this, 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 this is the biggest, hardest part of the run, so you know, once you get past this, kind of opens up the, the rest of the run for you. Shouldn't be a problem. Reset. Soft reset, F1. 